any bombardment pretty much. There's no artillery, remember guys, it's the same as Vingui, but we are fighting on harbour cities, so we're going to see is the siege towers, it's all about the siege towers here, it's getting these onto the wall <coughs> and then finding a push up. A tends to not be defended very much, to be honest, because it's so treble, such an easy option to hit here and it'll be dependent on what we see here in terms of the unit uh, selection. Lots of Polacks going in the way of uh, Odin's Legion here. As you can see, Drayton, Ragnarok, Tomsey, Kiss My Bird, Lucas Steel, Delusion, all with Polaxes out. A couple of short shots, not too many now. Um, and a couple of the range classes, Thomas Fox, all up in there with the, the muskets and Emery with the short bow. Over on the side of Pongard, we have a couple of Polaxes, not as many as the attack side, but plenty of pike players. ASM3, Big Billy, Sig, Payan, all picking up the pike here with two malls, two sh uh, three short shots. So, Interesting kind of class setups here. As you can see, lots of the pike players going up to the top gate, the small gate. They might be thinking of a sally out. They've got outriders out to start with. Going to start out with using the are we sally out potentially trying to just whittle down all the the defenses and the well the units and then the attack just to kind of give them something to do. You know, to just uh, slow everybody down and uh, stop the push of these siege towers. Uh, on the attacking side, you've got some greyhairs palace guards. We've got some javelins in here as well. IPGs, even. Uh, even some Lanchnex as well, or is that Halberdiers? We do have uh, Drayton with Namcans at some point as well and he's build up here, but this is going to be interesting to see. Is Pongard just going to risk it all? They're going to throw everything at it and just come out the main gate and the front gate here. Even in Nine Fingers, how are we doing? How are we doing? Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll do the same as well. We're going to make sure we can see as much of this map as possible, showing you everything that can be potentially happening no matter where it is. So please, guys, remember a five-minute delay. If you're telling me to go somewhere or to see something, I'm sorry. It's probably already too late. However, we will definitely try to get you the best view of everything possible here on this matchup. As you can see, the Pond Guard guys are already looking at opening the gate, and that's why we're going to zoom it closer into here because pawn guard guys are taking their outliders out straight away out into the open here trying to find these little flanks in the corner we will get rid of this so we can see what's going on but plenty of uh, outland, uh, outriders coming out here coming around to the flanks to the supply point well all of the guys from Odin's Legion are looking to come and rotate and come around to the supply point and try and support it pawn guard will do their best to try and Distract and just throw these ranged classes because they are ranged units so you can just throw them javelins from a distance away you don't have to be accurate you don't have to be close so it isn't too bad it's not too bad we've got Sig here just uh, trying to bait out these trebs as well it's another good way of trebs but they've come out the front gate as well so Pawn Guard are now going to be able to pinch the guys on the supply point they were waiting on the units to supply point here this supply point being the main crucial area of it at this point in time how are they going to do it? Are they just going to circle one set of units around here? And it looks like they are. They are circling this supply point. They're paying attention more to that. Ragnarok's looking for the space. He's thinking about going through the gateway. But Pion's going to keep that open in the background there. Kiss my bird, throwing another Treb. Treb onto Peridot, who's trying to use the cannons on the units in the supply point. Dealer for life is the first to die. Uh, first to get a kill, sorry, is it? Yeah. FDS light, there we go, a couple of heroes are dying, there we go, as you can see, we're pushing in here, multiple heroes dying down on the defend, uh, the attacking side here, sending in the outriders, and as it happens, now we're down to nine players alive on the attacking side, Tomsey, Ragnarok, and Ottovan going up on top wall here, they have critical up on top A, and now the guys are going to have to try and pay attention to what's going on up here, if they can take A and get themselves set up quickly, but Pond Guard are not going to let that happen. They're just going to make sure they come around and try and take as many of the heroes out as possible. As things stand, there's still only 10 heroes alive for Odin's Legion. 15 guys on the attack, uh, on the defense. Fucking hell, I keep thinking now that Pond Guard are on the attack. It's just so mad. This is the, this is what's happened. They've sent the, the whole Sally out there. I'm just expecting them to be the guys on the attack at this point. You've got loads of uh, cavalry still running about. As you can see, plenty of the outriders here. There is some cataphract lancers in there and some armagers as well, so that's help also helping out. You've got C4 with the Brit on Rotten. You've got Drayton being defeated by Le Brave. And yeah, they're just they're just trying to whittle down the units and heroes down here. There's just one one hero on the, the, the A point trying to defend it here. Uh, critical here up on the A point with Dealer for Life. Just trying to make sure they keep the heroes 
occupy their point guard. They're literally just going to keep rotating theirself around as the cavalry players, back and forward, round and round the as many of the heroes as possible, trying to whittle them down. Maximus Meredith with the brittle and rotten already. Crazy falls to his death here. They're down to 10 in the attack again already. And as you can see, SKW is kind of getting picked on in the corner here. There's four or five heroes there fighting SKW. But Miss is outnumbered here on the right-hand side. President Emery still on the supply point. Lots of other units on the supply point. Well, Pine comes around the back here. He's looking to try and see if he can get a wee flank on some of these units here. Just trying to see what's there. But at this point in time, Point Guard just going to be taking so many units different. Look at the difference. There's a 1,000 on the defence in comparison to only 600 on the attack. And this sally out has just been mega disruptive for both teams, to be honest. It's disrupting... Odin's Legion so much, it's so like it's just such a quick matchup. This could be for uh, the first defense, and <laughs> the defense are just pulling out so strong. They're doubling up in the units, and uh, there's nothing they can do about it at this point in time. Odin's Legion are really going to struggle at this point when unit wise they still have Greyhairs, Palace Guards, Muskets, but there is nothing really to counter all these cavalry coming out from Congard. And the only way they would be able to do it is if they were to get something onto the wall and get themselves up. But at this point in time, they have to stick together as a group. Like this group over here in this corner might have to stick together, but there's going to be plenty of rotations around. The cavalry is going to try and come in from all different directions from Pond Guard, and they're just going to keep doing that as it is. They'll, they'll bait around, they'll watch around, they'll keep getting the supply points to make sure they can get their javelin sergeants, uh, their javelin cav hell healed up and stuff and obviously get some more ammo but they're just constantly rotating down here doing what they have to do Katie Peridot falls there are still three heroes on the wall attacking and defending the one mall that's up on top but it also looks like this is going to be a pretty much a quick game over I, I can just see the guys of Odin's Legion getting themselves out of this battle as soon as they, they start getting to the stage where they have no units left it will be a instant Okay, we're out. That's it. Game over. FDS Light sit, sending some Cav in there, trying to see what he can do, trying to pick up some heroes. Should a, should a Scav could potentially be taken out here, but there is a few Pongar players coming in to help that one. Who will die here? You've got SKW and Dealer for Life and uh, the units up there with some artillery, some ballista shots and stuff as well. Sledgeman falls down to President Emery, but nine heroes alive on the attack, 12 still alive on the defense, they're still double the amount of the units alive, ASM3 falls his death there, but now Odin's Legion have the more more majority outside, but at this stage, it's going to be a really difficult task now, they can't, they don't really have the units to be pushing, they've got one full push by the end of this, and they're going to have to focus up, because all the artillery, all the siege towers not managed to make it, will Pond Guard send out more guys, they're just, going to, they're just going to lock the gates just now as things are and Odin's Legion are just going to have a really difficult task from here on out. It's going to be a really difficult task. On unit wise, what you can see here, you've got some grey hairs, you've got some ISGs, you've still got some cavalry out Leos from a ASM tree, Iron Reapers and whatnot, but there's some Iron Reapers, Palace Guards, Modals, uh, Fort Abrasio, and the grey hairs on the attack here now. But no siege towers are going to make it. No siege towers have managed to make it. And so far, really, there's nothing. They're all over the place. Like, if you look at the setup of Odin's Legion here at this point in time, every hero is all over the place. Their units aren't all clustered together. They're all in different places, which is making it was making it easy, really, for Pongar to come out and sally out and take as many units and kill as many people as possible, pretty much. That's, that's what they used, and they're going to use that to their advantage, and they've done that. Um... I don't know what else we're going to say here, um, but that was such a such a great idea from Pond Guard, that sally out. It's very brave, but with the quality of Pond Guard guys, they're so good with their cavalry, they know what they're doing on the NE side with the, with the cav, that's one of their, their go-tos, no matter what, um, they're always using and doing well with their cav. Pan picks up Kiss My Bird, and so far it looks like it's going to be a rough, rough thing. We've got six trebs left at this point in time, and it looks like, that is it. This is this is just going to be a waiting game here. They're just going to get farmed at the top of the siege tower. There's only going to be one siege tower that makes it. There is going to be trebs, but Odin's Legion are going to have to sort themselves out for this push here. It's going to have to be very well coordinated. It's going to be quick, and you're going to have to take their units. But just as we speak, the siege tower does not even make it. We're down to five minutes left in this battle, and there's only one siege tower that had any chance of getting there, and it is now down. Pongard have bullied 
bullied Odin's Legion at this point in time. They've wasted so much time with the cavalry outpush. They're using the javelins to their ability to take out the sieges. Um, and yeah, they've still got some siege up that they can actually use to, to damage the siege towers. So that has uh, also helped. Now, uh, as you can see, they're starting to look to the left side gate now because as things stand, there's not really much in terms of where they can go. They can't go up the siege towers. It's going to take far too long for them to reach. So they're going to have to go in the gateway. All of Pongard are on the wall, but really, they don't even need to come and support this. They don't need to come and like, come to see these guys down at this point because they, they don't have the units really for the eight-point push. But Pongard don't back down from a fight. They're going to definitely come around. They're going to come down them stairs. They're going to set up a nice uh, solid platform to work on that defense here. You've got plenty of people all rotating to get different units. Payan's over to the supply point. way to pick up something different here. And uh, we've got plenty of people on the left hand side going to be able to go to the supply point drayton's going to pick up the supply point here or missed uh, no they're not they're just kind of baiting around to look like it thank you for the five gifted subs as well as i just appreciate it thank you very much man i appreciate it very much but yeah this is this is odin's legion trying to go round the back here they're trying to take all their units round the back here to bait them out as much as possible they're going to go around to that left hand side supply point and see what happens here we'll put the alerts down a little bit guys so we don't have to hear that but at this point, my uh, camera's gone off here. Let's see where they are here on this little flank here. This little flank, Aruni. ASM Tree's got units ready. He's going around with his Liao's. They're coming down the center here now. They're going to try and push down the center. Ragnarok is going down the center. And uh, you've got Odin's Legion just going to just kind of look at where they got. They can't do anything here. They, they physically can't do anything here. They've got to get themselves set up. They, the trebs are going to come in, but the trebs aren't really going to hit too much. They're going to hit some units on that stairwell a little bit, but nothing too major. They're all going to push the whole units up the right-hand side stairwell here, where they have Pongard waiting for them on the top. They're sending some, uh, ter well, Archibusiers are firing from the top there. You've got them grenades going off, but there's also going to be a big, massive pinch in here from Pongard. They've come in from the other side stairwells as... Odin's Legion pushed up the right stairwell. They're doing pretty well on the push up the right-hand side. They've got the IPG march marching up the stairs. They're pushing out the heroes as much as possible. They might actually get a good push up here, but they have got units and heroes coming in from behind them. So they're going to have to watch their backside here. Maximus going straight up there with Iron Reapers. Plenty of Iron Reapers coming up from behind here and Grey Hairs, but they're going to have to keep pushing hard here. Odin's Legion is going to have to push really, really, really fast, really quickly to A to try and cap A here and try and use these trebs now. This is where they're going to start baiting these trebs and things are actually working out for them. This treb is going to hit quite a good treb there on Odin's Legion. That is a very good treb. That's taken out multiple units from the behind flank here. But now, Pongard have got units to set up. There's only 165 units here in favour of <laughs> Odin's Legion. It is really difficult. It is very difficult at this point. I don't know what's happened with my camera, but it feels like the up and downs aren't working anymore. There we go. They're trebbing themselves on that point. There is plenty of defenders coming up. Javelin sergeants dealing all the damage. There's a quad kill. And as you can see, point guard are not letting them even cap A. There's a 1 minute and 45 seconds left. There's only 128 units left and only two heroes alive. One of which is fighting for his life as a musket player but will go down. Gilcho picking up the bloodbath. And that's it. That is going to be all she wrote. Two of the Odin's Legions players that are alive are over here as you can see. All just spawning now. Now, Pangard have dominated this defense. Three tribes left. And as things stand, look at this in terms of just just amount of damage. There's only two heroes waiting to be respawned. There's 733 units against 128 units of Order's Legion. And there's really nothing that they can do at this point. It's uh, It's been a very difficult task. Well, C4 is looking to try and get out of the gateway, but... Some units are fighting outside. Sledge Main's outside here. Is he going to get picked up by a lot of the heroes out here? There we go. Sledge Main is survivor for so long. He's still surviving. And everybody's like, wow, how is he not dying? ASM Tree comes out with his Liao's. Is he going to do some damage? Katie Bear dot fighting in the back corner here as well. But massive respect goes to Pongard. That was a fantastic decision to come up with the Outlanders at the very start. Wipe up and clear up so many units. 
that you were able to do at the very start of that, which made it so much difficult for any push going in. Oris Legion did have a, a good fair push uh, near the end there to get towards A, but because they were pinched in the back from Pongar, there was nothing that they can do. There's only a certain amount of units that they had, and as you can see, there's only 110 units and five heroes left of Oris Legion. The fight is getting taken to them. Payan, ASM Tree, all fighting all these heroes down here. Tom Z picks up the achievement, shot out of the ranks. Noble Cause going and shoot a scarf. And now they're just going to all sally out and kill the rest of the heroes that are left. There is only two heroes left. Drain's just standing there watching it, but Red wins. That means Pongar pick up a fantastic win there. Gelcho with eight hero kills, MVP of this battle, 104 unit kills. Fantastic effort from Gelcho. You've got Sig with four hero kills. You've got Sledgeman also with four hero kills, and the SM3 with four hero kills. Critical kill at the bottom with three. Only five unit kills. He wasn't using. He was just using him. He was just killing heroes. Um, but yeah, take down 106 unit kills. Payan 104, 104 here for Dealer for Life as well. Fantastic effort, lots of guys in the S ranks. <coughs> Just shows how well they did and work together as a team. Missed on the MVP for the attack, 855 score, but not enough, not enough. 93 hero, uh, three unit kills, two hero kills, but there's just so many deaths on the half. Ragnarok died, like, had eight assists, but died three times. Lots of heroes dying three times. Ottoman. This, uh, died four times as well. It's a really difficult thing to do if you're dying so often in these kind of pushes. Um, as you can see, lots of the kills being taken on the outside here. Payan's guys all came outside with out, uh, Outlanders. There were some, uh, there were some, well, Javcan, yeah, Javcav. So they were doing some work along with some Armagers. There was a uh, Monastics, uh, Cataphract, sorry, in there as well. Just made a massive difference. They just whittled down so many units on the attack of Odin's Legion, and nothing they can do about it. There was no anti-cavalry that was able to take out Jav's uh, calf, because they could just hit from such a distance uh, and deal so much damage when there's that many of them, and it's just it's really difficult to do. If you're rotating and you're you're coming around and uh, pretty much clustering around them, there's nothing they could do. They can't push out, they can't push to you. They were they were stuck. They were literally stuck on the supply points while Jav Cav were just throwing their javelins constantly at them. Uh, and, and doing lots of work and the heroes were getting involved there and disrupting the formations and the heroes up so it was making it difficult for Odin's Legion from the very start. Um, in terms of overall troops killed, look at the difference on the defence. That is almost three times the amount. It was so aggressive as a defence and it worked so well. 18 deaths against 46 for Odin's Legion. 46, that is a massive, it's, that's a, it's just not your day kind of moment. Very true. Uh, Tyler, it is definitely is not your day kind of moment. But guys, that was a rough one for you, Odin Legion. Hopefully, guys, the defense will be a little bit stronger. Defense uh, tends to be a little bit easier. However, Pongard, very good squad. And uh, don't underestimate these guys. These guys have not, like we said, haven't lost 